All right, guys, we are back and we have just completed the villa. And now we are going to explore the bottom of what's ever in this coffin hole secret path. Dun -dun. The underground waterway. Now, when I first played this game, this place caused me a lot of grief because it's not parkour in the sense that I mean, it is parkour, but it's unique parkour because you can't touch the water. If you touch the water, you're dead. Oh god, oh god. And there is a lot of ways you can die in this, so you just gotta be way careful. And Carrie's just like politely looking around. I smell poison. This water is deadly. Yeah, as if we didn't know that already, Carrie, you silly goose. We already know. Any water you come across in this game is deadly. Except for that water and that little entryway thing that we just passed. Um... I forget which way I have to go. No, not this way. There's nothing over there. Can be, this place can be a little bit confusing, but I'm pretty sure it'll come back to me. There's nothing wrong with exploring, though. There's nothing wrong. It's not like exploring's gonna kill you. Although it might, actually. Oh, God. Lizard man! Lizard man! Die, lizard! Die, Liz! Die, lizard! Die, lizard! Lizard Manelli! Oh, this one has a shield. See, this is why I like the crosses. The crosses work good on these guys. Okay, there goes the first switch. Which turns off the corresponding waterfall. Cosmo, um, you know, Cosmo from Cosmo Speedruns. He can, like, jump across the waterfall. I've tried to do it, but I can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do that shit. So, I gotta give it, give him credit that he makes it look easy, but... Not easy to do. And I wouldn't dare risk doing it on an emulator, because... Um, it's probably a little bit different, and oh, not only that, but I'm recording, so I'm not gonna risk that. I'm not gonna risk having to walk all the way back. It's not my thing. I'm just playing the game normally and trying to be funny and, you know, just doing my thing. Oh, and that guy just fell down the hole. Isn't that pleasant? Didn't even do that on purpose, but I'm glad it happened. Um. Oh! Fucking! See, that thing just spit on me, and... That can poison you, so you gotta be careful. And these are just gonna fall. But I'm getting really lucky. A vampire sucked my blood and I didn't get vampirism. Um, what else happened? I'm just gonna climb through here. Um, and I just got like spit on and I didn't get poisoned, so I'm extremely lucky this playthrough. What's down here? I don't remember this. There's there's no way there's something important here because I don't ever remember coming down here ever in my life. Oh, a moon card. I don't need that. The only purpose of day and night is that one door and... And... Oh, God, just got hit twice. Yeah, I'm still not poisoned. I'm extremely lucky this playthrough. Get the switch. Thank you. Oh god. Just got hit again. Still not poisoned. Like, I'm extremely lucky. I'm not sure what's... I'm normally a very unlucky person, so it really surprises me that I'm this lucky. What's that song? Just trying to have some good fun. Dun 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 dun. Up all night to get lucky. Up all night to get some. I like that song, but depends who sings it. I like the covers more, actually. 
And I still have my 100% powered up sphere because I haven't died yet. If I can make it through this LP without dying, I want you all to comment about how amazing I am and how I'm your favorite LPer who's ever been and why I'm pretty much the king and queen. Yeah, I'm both. I am the king and queen of... and princess and prince of Castlevania 64. Because don't even front, this is like my favorite video game ever and if anyone's the king and queen of it, it is me and I almost just died right there so I need to stop talking and really concentrate on what I'm doing. Um, you don't want to go down there yet because there's a switch over th <gasps> oh, Fucking Jesus. See, those bastards, they might not do a lot of damage but they can knock you into the water and I just fucking fell. Fucking yes. Dead. So I guess you guys aren't going to say I'm the king and queen. I guess that's just wishful thinking at this point. So now I'm going to continue previously saved. And then luckily I did save. Because normally I don't save when I play this game. Because I normally don't die, but I died. So it was a good thing I saved. <sighs> I wonder if I talk too fast. I, th I feel like I'm talking really fast. I just, I'm really talkative. I'm one of those LPers who always just has to be talking. I always have something to say. Um, some people really like that. Some people really hate that. So it's a mixed thing. I'm just going to keep talking because I like to always be having something to say. That's just who I am. I'm going to stay true to myself as best as I can in this. Um, on this channel. <gasps> Now I think there's a lever or something over here, so I'm going over here. It has been years since I've actually be beaten this game, but I played it like 40 times in my life. And beaten it 40, like 40 times. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Really? Just a I don't need this. Oh, and if you got, uh, well I guess actually. If you guys haven't already please comment and tell me whether you want me to fight Renan or not because I don't have to I don't have to buy anything I'm just gonna buy a couple of things um but I don't I won't fight him if you guys don't want me to so let me know oh my god there's so many of them oh got hit again but still not poisoned because I'm a lucky bitch And it's best to when you're when you have to sidle like this and you have to shimmy. It's best to jump as far as you can because the characters in this game shimmy really, really slowly. They do, really slowly. And when you're playing Cornell and you're playing Legacy of Darkness, that's actually like a certain thing you have to watch out for. You have to time certain things. And it doesn't get pretty. It gets really ugly. Now we just have to make it back. See, this is why when I was a little, little, little kid that this stage always used to trip me up because you'd have to make it there without dying and then you'd have to make it back without dying. Oh my God, I just got fucking hit, but I didn't fall, luckily. I'm pretty sure there's like a 50% chance that they can knock you into the water and I didn't, and I survived. So I feel like I'm very lucky this playthrough. Jump. Oh god, I forgot about this, bastards. I don't recommend jumping when it's above you. I always recommend jumping when it's over. Just because you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about... You know, you don't have... You don't have to worry about it falling on top of you. <gasps> ah! Fuck! Stop it! Stop! Please! Stop, skeleton! How did you even get here? I don't understand. And of course, my weapon is very weak now since I don't have any power-up, so I need to keep my eye out open for those. I will take that red jewel because I'm kind of low. So, like I said, the sub-weapon is just preferen preferential. I really like the cross and I really like the holy water. Those are my two favorites. But, you know, never get the knife because I'm I'm being straight up honest with you. The knife, it's just, there's no purpose to the knife. It's horrible. It's the first weapon you get and it's only if you can't find anything else, pretty much. 
Die, bitch. Here's a sun door, so... This can only open when it's sun, and I only have, like, an hour left of sun. Day door, whatever. And now we're done the underground waterway. Here's a cutscene. She has such power, it is almost terrifying. Only a child, but a true Fernandez. A shame to slay her. Who are you? Ho 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 ho! I am Santa Claus. I'm actress. People would call me a witch. Our mission is to restore our ruler, Count Dracula, to life. What are you saying? The power you possess would greatly help us revive the Count. I give you time to consider your choices. Lend us your power in the great work or rot in hell for eternity. Think it over carefully. We will meet again. To restore him to his full power? So that was Actrice. That's Carrie's nemesis. Reinhardt and Carrie both have different nemesises. Nemesises. Nemeses? Is it nemeses or is it nemesises? I think it's nemeses. But this is my second favorite area on the game. Castle Center. And this music is fucking kick ass. So let's kill this skeleton bitch. Die bitch. I think there's a power up in one of these. So I'm going to break these actually. But, like, we're in Dracula's castle now. We're in, like, the basement area. And if I could break these, that would be nice. Any day now. Oh, my God. This is so hard with the controls. You guys have no idea. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is, like, the torch who couldn't. Thank you. Thank you. I knew there was a power-up. This music is so good. Listen to it. Oh god, there's three vampires in this room. So this is like the first time we're going to be fighting multiple vampires at the same time. And it's a little bit hard if you're new to this game. Or if you're playing on hard. Because there's three of them. And they all try to grab you, and it's really fucking hard to stay away from all of them at once because they suck, they tend to like circle you. But Carrie's fucking badass, so she does she doesn't give a shit. And the maid can fucking throw projectiles, so she's a bitch. Die bitch. And this is nighttime, so they're especially powerful. See how they're lasting a lot longer? It's because they're more powerful. Fucking shit, she just hit me. Okay, so she's dead. I love this place. This is like the most iconic place in Ocarina. I mean, not Ocarina of Time. In Castlevania 64. Oh dear. This used to creep me out as a kid. It's so tragic. Look how it continues. Oh, and now it's coming towards Carrie. Carrie, don't just stand there and look at it, bitch. See, it's like the little creepy things like this that really give Castlevania 64 it's like that make it so special. This is like one of the things. 
A statue of a beautiful goddess, the inscription reads, Gold is the color of Venus, second child of the sun. The high wall can be destroyed using magical nitro. Some kind of code, so that's two. I'm pretty sure the code is 248. And what's up here? I want to get this. How do we get to that? I don't think I've ever gotten this torch before. What's in it? Ooh, a power up. I'm glad I got it then. Hmm. So the basic goal of this place is we have to get this elevator back and running. But you have to go through a lot, a lot to do it. Like it's, it, you have to do so much to get it running again. That if you don't know what you're doing in this game. See like someone like me can beat this game in like a couple of hours at a least. If I was going as fast as I could, I could probably do it in an hour. But playing it leisurely, maybe like two hours. And if you don't know what you're doing, it can take like six hours. It can take a long time if you don't know what you're doing. We're going to go this way first. And here is what's called the lizard room. Lizards will continue to come out of these little, like, I don't even know, like boxes, like little cells or something. But from watching Cosmo, I learned that if you go into the corner that they despawn. So that's a little trick you can do to avoid fighting them that I just did. I'm not going to exploit glitches too much in this game, but I just wanted to do it because it's really cool. So I'm glad I did a glitch. <laughs> Break. Thank you. We're going to save just in case. But this castle is beautiful. Like I love the way it looks. No, 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 no. Carrie's such an amazing protagonist. I'm really saw. I, you know what I wish? I wish this game got like a remake on the 3DS. I know it's not gonna because it's totally obscure and like 99% of the world doesn't even know about this game. But it's, it's so amazing to me. I love it. And now we have to face two vampire butlers. My voice just cracked there because my throat is getting a little bit dry because I've been recording for like two hours now. But the reason I record for like two hours is because like Monday, Monday and Sunday are pretty much the only days in which I can record. So that is why I, that's why I record in bulk. But I will stop after this stage so I can listen to your feedback and know whether or not to buy stuff from Renan. And I still have to upload my Spirited Away videos. There's like three more I have to upload. I, I only uploaded the first one. Oh no, a lizard man. But this one's friendly. Don't jump away from me. I'm trying to talk to you. A device turned into demons, blood stains are everywhere. Okay, so I accidentally inspected that, but we want to talk to him. I am I am human. I am only this shape because of a curse. You are an adventurer? I will give you some advice. To destroy the wall, you need both magical nitro and mandragora. Place them both in front of the wall. The mandragora will detonate the magical nitro in a powerful explosion. Take this key. You will find the mandragora in the torture chamber, which is on the first floor, so we're going to have to backtrack. You receive the key, but we're going to go in here first. Malice, why are you- it's Malice! Malice, why are you here? I thought you had escaped. This place? Escape? Say, are you going to fight Dracula? Aren't you afraid? Malice? Have you come to avenge my family? To rescue my friends? I swear it. I will avenge your parents and destroy Dracula. 
<laughs> huh? Impossible. <gasps> Why? Because you are trapped. You will die like wretches. Malice? All living creatures must consecrate their souls to the Dark Lord. To the kingdom of darkness where no wretched sunlight comes. Malice, what have you been saying? Carrie's so dumb. I mean, she's a, she's, she is a little bit naive, and I think you can break this, so I'm gonna try. No, you can't, okay. I thought you could break that for some reason. Will you save up to this point? Yes, I will, because we're going to pick it. My scalp is burning right now. I just did my hair like two days ago, and my scalp is really burning. Like right now, suddenly, randomly, I'm not sure. Just running will not cause an explosion. But one jump or hit, and the story's over. Carry it carefully. Carrie has to carry it carefully. Try saying that ten times fast. Carrie's carrying it carefully. I can do that. That's easy. That's not even really a tongue twister at all. All right, so let's go in here. And I'm gonna, after I put this down, I'm gonna end the video and stop recording for today. Set the magical nitro? Yes, magical nitro is ready. You need Mandragora for, to, for a detonator. Okay, so now we need to go bring Mandragora back up here. You have to do this for two places. It's really tedious, but whatever. Um, so, um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, favorite, whatever you want to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the series. Bye!